Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. So good. Being overweight is generally considered a health concern in all works of life. Hence, it's a popular belief that people who are overweight have little or no ability to perform intense sports. But did you know a large number of individuals have excelled in the NBA in particular? Even though it has its fair share of chubby players, these players went on to have a significant impact one way or the other. So today, stick around, because we're going to take a look at some of the fattest NBA players of all time. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First, we have Khalid El Amin. Born and raised in Minnesota, Khalid played for the University of Connecticut men's basketball team and was drafted to play in the NBA by the Chicago Bulls after his university team went on to win the NCAA championship in 1999. Khalid had a peak weight of 200 pounds and his time with the Chicago Bulls was short-lived, playing a total of 50 games in the league. He averaged 6.3 points and 2.9 assists per game. For a guy the size of a panda, those aren't bad stats. He went on to play for the European team Strasbourg and Maccabi Irony. After retiring from professional basketball, he returned to Minneapolis, where he's now the assistant coach for the boys' high school basketball team. Next up, we have Zach Randolph. Sharing a very similar journey into the NBA with Khalid El Amin, Zach Randolph, nicknamed Zebo, got drafted into the NBA by the Portland Trailblazers after catching their attention playing college basketball for the Michigan State Spartans. He later went on to play for five other teams over the course of his professional career in the NBA. Although his time in the NBA was not as smooth as he would have wanted, Zach had a few career highlights, such as winning the NBA Most Improved Player in 2004 and making the NBA All-Star team twice. He did all of these, even with a peak weight of 260 pounds, which is pretty astounding. He joined the Team Trilogy in the Big Three League after leaving the NBA. Craig Smith comes in next. Craig Smith was born on November 10, 1983. He is popularly called the Rhino due to his notable size and work ethic. Craig Smith had a peak weight of 265 pounds, and after playing for Boston University from 2002 to 2006, he was selected by the Minnesota Timberwolves, where he signed a multi-year deal in the 2006 NBA Draft. He averaged 7.4 points and 5.1 rebounds in his rookie year from 2006 to 2007. It didn't matter what he weighed, because Craig impressed NBA fans and was a very integral part of his team's success. Imagine a 265-pound man charging at you. Can only imagine how much Craig must have scared the opposing team. Now let's take a look at Jerome Popeye Jones. Jerome Jones played with the Dallas Maverick for three seasons before being traded to the Toronto Raptors and then traded back a few seasons later, with his best season with the Mavericks in 1995-96, where he averaged 11.3 points and 10.8 rebounds per game. According to his mother, his nickname Popeye came from the popular cartoon of the same name, but unlike the fictional character Popeye, Jones was by no means muscular, with a pick weight of 270 pounds. Jerome now works as the assistant coach for the Indiana Pacers, sharing his NBA knowledge with the present superstars. Greg Ostertag comes in next, at a whopper. Born in March 1973, Greg Ostertag stands at 7'2 and a peak weight of 290 pounds. He played for the Utah Jazz, where his size was put to good use in their defense, and with him playing in this position, the Utah Jazz made back-to-back -back appearances in the NBA Finals in 1997 and 1998. For someone of his incredible size, Greg was not surprisingly very clumsy, with no skill and no offensive prowess in his arsenal. He was still one of the most efficient shot blockers in NBA history. Breaking a record, Ostertag became the first NBA player to donate an organ after donating a kidney to his sister. Next up, we have Al Jefferson. Born January 4, 1985 and raised in Mississippi, Al Jefferson played high school basketball for Prentice High School in his hometown. In 2004, Jefferson became the first high school player to be drafted by the Boston Celtics. Not considering his size, he played mainly as a power forward, and in his rookie season, he averaged 6.7 points and 4.4 rebounds in 14.8 minutes per game. 
One similar problem faced by players in Jefferson's weight class was injury, and with a peak weight of 293 pounds, he faced a lot of injuries, especially with his ankle. He later went on to lose a substantial amount of weight after hiring a professional chef, and on the 23rd of March 2019, Jefferson announced his retirement from the NBA. After retiring, he signed to play in the Big Three League. Next is Jerome Big Snack Jones. Born November 17, 1975, Jones played college basketball at Florida for three seasons. Just by hearing his nickname, you would know Jerome Jones was overweight. Popularly known as Big Snack, Jerome had a peak weight of 300 pounds and is best remembered for his time in Seattle, starting 80 games during the 2004-2005 season. Before he got drafted into the NBA, he played for the Harlem Globetrotters, and then had his final career stop at the Chicago Bulls, where he didn't play a single match, just like many other NBA superstars before him. He later went on to play in other European leagues. Next, we have the Big Baby Glenn Davis. Nicknamed the Big Baby, and born in Louisiana on June 1, 1986, Davis had a peak weight of 300 pounds. Davis was the 35th overall pick in the 2007 NBA Draft, which was where his journey began. After getting drafted to the Seattle Supersonics, Davis was traded shortly after to the Boston Celtics, with whom he won the NBA championship in 2008. He played mainly as a power forward and guided his team to victory. Glenn Davis was not only oversized, but also a champion. That's not something you come across every day. He would go on to play in other leagues in Europe, and finally help Team Power win the championship in the Big Three League. Next, we have the legend, Charles Barkley. Charles was born on February 20th, 1963, raised in Leeds, Alabama, and nicknamed the Chuck. Charles Barkley joined the NBA after getting drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers. He was the fifth pick of the 1984 draft, and Charles was a real superstar. And even though he had a peak weight of 300 pounds, his NBA career was highly decorated regardless. He won the NBA MVP in 1993, and also featured in the NBA All-Star team 11 times. His successes didn't end there. He also won two gold medals at the Olympics for the US team, although he was majorly deployed as a power forward. Charles was an all-arounder, earning the fans' admiration any time he stepped on the court to play. After Charles Barkley retired, he then became an NBA analyst. Next is Robert the Tractor Taylor. Robert Taylor was born on February 1, 1977, and raised in Detroit, Michigan. The now late Robert Taylor was expected by many to take the NBA by storm. With his peak weight at 320 pounds, he was expected to bulldoze his way through opponents and make a fast rise to the top of the league. After getting drafted by the Dallas Mavericks in 1998 and traded to the Milwaukee Bucks, Taylor became a huge flop and battled weight problems throughout his career. He finally left the NBA after a decade. After leaving the NBA, he played in countries like Turkey and Italy in Europe. Sadly, on the 11th of May 2011, Taylor died of a heart attack in his Puerto Rico apartment. Michael Sweetney comes in next. Born on October 25, 1982, Michael Sweetney was not only oversized, but also recognized for being one of the laziest players ever to get drafted into the NBA. With a peak weight of 348 pounds, Michael could hardly cover any ground on the court. Raised in Washington, D.C., he was drafted by the New York Knicks as the ninth overall pick in 2003. Michael battled weight issues that saw his career plummet and his weight rise over the years. He left the NBA a couple of seasons later, and after retiring, he took on the assistant coaching job for Yeshiva University men's basketball team. Next is Eddie Curry. Known arguably as one of the biggest flops in NBA history, Eddie Curry was drafted straight out of high school by the Chicago Bulls, and they certainly had high hopes for him, but he didn't live up to the expectations. He had a staggering peak weight of 350 pounds, but also battled with a heart condition throughout his playing career. According to his former coaches Scott Skiles and Harry Brown, Eddie was unable to defend and rebound, which made him close to useless. These reasons made his highly anticipated career in the NBA fizzle out. Thinking about it, I don't blame him, because running around for a guy that size must have been really difficult, and most likely hurt his joints incredibly. Next up, we have Shaquille O'Neal. Born March 6, 1972, and raised in Newark, New Jersey, Shaquille O'Neal was undoubtedly one of the best. Any conversations about the all-time greatest would certainly involve the Big Shaq, as he was famously known as. 
Shaquille O'Neal was undoubtedly a beast in size and on the court. He had a peak weight of 360 pounds and stood at a height of 7 foot 1, and it was no surprise Shaq was a force to be reckoned with. So, as you can see, the players mentioned here are some of the fattest players ever to play in the NBA, but it should be noted that these players were not initially this oversized. They became like this majorly due to poor diet practices. However big these players appeared, they didn't let their size stop them from pursuing their dream. Thanks for watching the video.